and welcome to episode 2 of my 2018 makeup collection and declutter series. It's a bit of a long title. Today's episode is going to be all about blushes. Now I am a huge blush fiend. I love blush. I love lots of different blushes, cream blushes and powder blushes and cream to powder blushes. I love it all. Blush was really the very first makeup product that I fell in love with. I just love how you can get that really gorgeous slip from within glow from the right color of blush. I don't always wear the right color of blush, but that does not stop me from just putting whatever blush I want to on my cheeks. So in March, halfway through, I did a blush a day for the remainder of March. So I think it came out to about 20 days. I miscounted the numbers on Instagram kind of halfway through because I got really confused because I started halfway through the month and counting from one in the middle of the month is very confusing, but I did my best and I think I ended up with about 20 days. So we're going to flip the camera around and I'll show you the blushes that I have in my collection right now, starting with the blush a day for half of March. And then we're going to go through the rest of my collection and declutter some blushes. I store all of my blushes in this Muji drawer as you guys have seen before. But before we go through the declutter, I'm going to recap the blushes I used for the March blush a day that I did on my Instagram. Day one was NARS Luster. It's a really pretty apricot with gold shimmer. Day two was Hourglass Diffuse Heat, a warm medium pink. Day three is Clinique Ginger Pop. This is a deep coral. Day four was Becca in Camellia. This is one of the luminous blushes and it's a really pretty shimmery rose pink. Day five, NARS Dolce Vita, which is a very pretty matte berry rose. Day six was the Giorgio Armani Cheek Fabric in Eccentrico, which is a beautiful bright matte magenta. Day seven was a combination of these two blushes from Shu Amora, but mainly this beautiful shimmery peach. Day eight was the Burberry Blush in Cameo, which is a very pretty dusty rose. Day nine was the Bare Minerals All Over Face Glow in Rose Radiance. This is a beautiful shimmery rose. Day 10 was this Clinique blush in Precious Posy, a beautiful shimmery peachy pink. Day 11 was MAC Melba, which is a beautiful muted coral. Day 12 was MAC in Blush Baby, and this is a really pretty earthy pink. Day 13 was this blush from Illamasqua, which is a really pretty matte medium rosy pink. Day 14 was this blush from NARS in Taj Mahal, which is a really beautiful shimmery burnt orange. Day 15 was this Bite Beauty Multi Stick in Praline, another kind of peachy orangey blush. Day 16 was the Hourglass Radiant Magenta blush, which is a beautiful golden fuchsia, a bit of a shimmer to it. Day 17 was the Laura Mercier blush in Lush Nectarine, which is a beautiful kind of peachy coral glow. So day 18 was the Burberry blush in Tangerine, which is a beigey peach. Day 19 was this cushion blush from Miniso, which is in coral red. It's a really bright peach coral. And then day 20, which was the last day, was the Benefit Blush in Dallas. So this is one of the box powders and it's a really pretty dusty rose. These are the only kind of cushion, cream, to powder products that I have. So I'm gonna start with this category first and then we'll move on to the color categories of all of the powder products that I have. I've been really loving cream products lately. I just really like how easy they are to wear, especially in the spring and summer. So we have a couple of products from By Beauty, Bourjois, Glossier, and then this is the Cushion Blusher from Miniso. Okay, these are the cream products that I have. So the first one here is the Cushion Blusher from Miniso, which I actually really like. It's a really pretty light, um, corally peach glow, and it's so easy to apply. The next blush is the Healthy Glow Blush from Bourjois. And then this other one here is the Cloud Paint from Glossier in Beam. So I really like the formulation of the cloud paint. Um, I used to really love the Healthy Glow from Bourjois. However, since I have discovered the cloud paint, I have really fallen in love with that formulation. So I'm gonna be keeping that one and I'm going to be decluttering the Bourjois. 
This last corally orange shade is the Bite Beauty Multi Stick in Praline. And as you can see, it's much different from the other shades that I have here. It's a bit deeper, it's a little bit more pigmented, but it's so stunning on the cheeks. So I'm definitely going to be keeping that one. We have another Glossier Cloud Paint. This is in Dusk, which is very pretty, very different from the other ones that I have. It's more of a nude. Then these are kind of the more pink and berries that I have. So this is another bourgeois uh, cream blush that I'm going to be saying goodbye to. It's in Rose Tender. Again, these are really great cream to powder formulations, but I just don't reach for them anymore. This one is the Glossier Cloud Paint in Haze, which is a very beautiful berry shade, which I love. And then this last one is Mascarpone, the Bite Beauty Multi Stick, and it's a really gorgeous, like deep berry rose. So here is a look at the ones that I am going to be keeping versus the ones I'm going to be decluttering. Okay, I tried to categorize these blushes as best as I could into three color families. So we have the peachy coral colors, we have another category for pinks, and then another one for kind of those dusty rose shades. So this is the first category we're gonna go through, which is what I deem to be like the peachy corals. Okay, here is a swatch of all of these blushes. I feel like I probably should have included these ones in the pink category because after I swatching them, they do come off a little bit more pink. Maybe we'll swatch them again later when we're going through the pinks. But these are all of the blushes. So uh, this one is the Benefit Box Powder in Georgia. And I'm actually gonna be decluttering this because I never reach for it. It is a very pale peach color. Um, I used to use this kind of almost like an all over face powder, but uh, I don't reach for it anymore. So I'm gonna say goodbye to that one. The next one is the Burberry Blush in Tangerine, which is very pretty. Um, it definitely doesn't apply as pigmented swatch, but when you actually apply it to the cheeks, it just gives your cheeks a really nice um, defined look. So I'm going to be keeping this at plus the Burberry blushes that are one of my favorite formulations. I'm also for sure keeping the NARS Luster blush because this is one of my favorites. It's a really gorgeous um, apricot shimmery color and it just looks so nice on the cheeks. This one is the Benefit Box Powder in Sugar Bomb and I'm going to say goodbye to this. Again, I just never reach for it. It is a really pretty glow, kind of like a peachy glow. It's fairly light. Um, it has a bit of a shimmer to it and I just find that this kind of looks a bit ashy on my skin tone nowadays. The next two blushes are from MAC. So the first one is MAC in Melba, which is a really pretty kind of muted um, peach color. And then the other one is in Peaches. So as you can see, it's a brighter peach. So I'm going to be keeping these two for now. I really enjoy both of the colors and they're different enough on the cheeks actually that um, I can justify it. Then we have the Laura Mercier blush in Lush Nectarine. This is a really beautiful corally peach color, which I love on the cheeks. I've had this for a while and it still looks really nice on. I will be saying goodbye to Benefit Coralista. Um, as you can see, it has almost like a frosty finish, which I'm not a huge fan of anymore. Next, we have the Clinique blush in Precious Posy. Again, this is kind of leaning more a bit pink, um, but it is very pretty and I love the formulation of this blush. I'm also going to be keeping both of the Clinique um, Cheek Pops. So the first one we have here is in Ginger Pop and then we have Fig Pop. Both of these look very similar in the pan, um, but actually applied, they, they do lean a bit differently. So Ginger Pop leans a bit more coral and Fig Pop leans a little bit more kind of berry. So I really love both of these shades and the formulation of these blushes is also really great but I will be saying goodbye to this last one, which is NARS Taj Mahal. I've had this for a really long time, and although I love how this looks on my cheeks, I can really only wear it in the summertime, and even then, I rarely reach for it nowadays. I used to really, really enjoy this color, especially when it's a bit more tan. Here's an overview of what I'm keeping in the peachy coral category, and then what I'm saying goodbye to. So these are what I deem to be more of the uh, neutral berry shades that I have. 
Okay, here are the swatches. So the first blush we have here is from Illamasqua. It's this blush in Naked Rose. And it is actually a really pretty light beigey pink color that it looks a lot better on the cheeks than it does in the pan. Then we have the Cargo Blush in Tonga. I rarely reach for this blush and it's such a great cheek color, but I just never reach for it. So I'm gonna say goodbye to this. I think the reason I don't reach for Tonga that much is because I have this blush from Hourglass. It's the Mood Exposure Blush and I really love this blush. Um, it looks really great on. I love this formulation also. I much prefer this over the Cargo Blush formulation. Then we have MAC Blush Baby, which you guys obviously can tell I use very often because I, I just really love this blush color. It doesn't look like much, in the pan, but when you actually apply it, it just gives your cheeks a really beautiful defined look. Then we have the Burberry blush in Cameo. Love this one too. It's a little bit more on the mauve side, but I really enjoy this formulation. I will be saying goodbye to this blush, which is the NARS. Um, I think this is the VIB color that they've released um, last year, the year before in Gulu. It's a really pretty kind of dusty, rosy blush shade with a bit of a shimmer, but I rarely reach for it, so I'm gonna say goodbye to that. I'm also going to be saying goodbye to this blush from MAC. It's this one, which is in Desert Rose. Um, I just don't find that I reach for it that often. I much prefer the next blush from NARS, which is in Dolce Vita, which is this one here. I just prefer the tone of it on my cheeks. It does come off a little bit more berry toned on the cheeks. Um, this one comes off a little bit more red. And then the last blush is the Benefit Box Powder in Dallas, which I love. I really, really enjoy this blush color. It can also work as a bronzer just to warm up the skin a little. So of the nude slash dusty rosy shades, these are the ones that I'm going to be keeping and these are the ones I'm gonna be saying goodbye to. So here's a look at what I deem to be more of my pinky blushes. So I feel like there's probably a couple of corals in here, but we'll swatch them and see which ones we're gonna keep. So the first one we have here is Fleur Power from MAC. I'm actually gonna be saying goodbye to this because um, I just, I don't know, I don't really like this color as much as I used to. I'm going to also be saying goodbye to this next blush from Laura Mercier. It's the second cheek color in Lotus Pink, which I really do like, but I actually prefer this formulation instead, which is the next one. It is the Hourglass Blush in Diffused Heat. Um, I prefer the tone of this pink a little bit more and also the formulation. I will be keeping the Burberry blush in Blossom because I really like the tone of it. It's more of a coral blush than a pink, but it looks really great on the cheeks and it's very pigmented and I love this formulation. This is my most recent blush purchase and it was recommended by one of you actually. It's the Physician's Formula Butter Blush in Vintage Rouge and I really enjoy this blush. Um, this is it here. It isn't really too much of a pink. I probably should have included this in my dust rose swatches because it is a little bit more neutral than it is pink, but it's a great formulation and I love the color. I'm going to say goodbye to this little mini of the NARS Orgasm Blush. I love the NARS Orgasm Blush, but this one is just not formulated the same as I feel like the full size blush. Um, I just feel like it's um, a little bit difficult to pick up powder and I pick up more shimmer than I do pigment, which is not really the case with the full size blush. So this one's going. I really enjoy the Bare Minerals All Over Face Glow in Rose Radiance, so that's this one here. It doesn't really look very great swatched, but it is a really great cheek color. It just gives your skin a really nice rosy glow. I'm going to keep this one, which is the Pinch O Peach from MAC. This is it here. I just like the tone of this pink. It's definitely more pink than it is peach, um, but it actually looks really nice. And I love the sheer tone formulations because they're sheer but buildable. I'm also going to be keeping the Becca blush in Camellia. I just really love the tone of pink on here and I really like the kind of sheen that it gives your cheeks. I'm going to be saying goodbye to the next blush, which is from Chanel. This is a limited edition blush called Blush Horizon. Um, I just don't reach for this. As you can see, you can you know still see the Chanel embossing on here. I just find I think that the pink on this is maybe 
a little too cool for me. I thought it would be more of a pinky coral shade, but um, I just don't reach for this as much, so I'm gonna say goodbye to that. I will be keeping the next blush though, which is the Hourglass Blush in Radiant Magenta. So this has a similar tone to the Chanel Blush Horizon, but I find that the Radiant Powder in this just gives it more of a neutral tone. It kind of makes it look a little bit more flattering on my skin tone. Definitely keeping the Giorgio Armani Cheek Fabric in Eccentrico. I just love this blush so much. It's a very pigmented blush. As you can see, it's the deepest one that I have, um, but it looks really pretty on the cheeks. It gives your cheeks a really great glow. I'm also saying goodbye to this NYX blush. Um, I just find that again, it's a little bit too cool toned for me, as you can see, um, compared to some of the other blushes that I have. It is the brightest, coolest one that I have swatched here. I really like the formulation of these blushes though, and I believe they have another one that is a little bit more coral, so I would consider picking that one up over this one. So here's an overview of the blushes that I'm keeping and the ones that I'm saying goodbye to. Okay, the last thing are some palettes. Um, there's a couple of palettes that I have here. I am going to declutter this Shoot Mora palette because I only reach for half of this palette now. I've already hit pan on the Shoot Mora one, but I do prefer this peach blush, which is the MAC Blush and Peaches over this one. Uh, this is matte, this one has a bit of a shimmer to it, so I feel like this palette is a bit redundant, although I love this palette so much and I've had it for a really long time, but I got my use out of it. I mean, I did hit pan on this one. I will be keeping all three of these um, face palettes. So we have the Hourglass palette. Um, this was, I think, a limited edition one from 2017. Actually, I think it might be 2016. Um, but I really like the, the powders in this palette. Um, it's a great travel palette for me. I'm good to wear all of these shades on my face. Some of these look very similar to other products that I have, but I just, I really enjoy this palette. I still use it today. Also still love the Charlotte Tilbury palette, which is the um, natural beauty palette. And you can see I used quite a bit of it. And then this is the Stephen Klein from NARS palette. Again, really great um, like cheek palette. So NARS a Laguna bronzer. We have a matte highlighter and then a contour and then four blushes. These two are actually one of my favorite blushes. So this is Luster and then Dolce Vita. Although these two do not look very similar to the pans, the full size pans that I have, especially Dolce Vita. This one has a bit of a shimmer to it, which is a bit more noticeable on the cheeks. And the one I have in full size uh, does not have any discernible shimmer in it. So very odd. These are my MAC palettes that I have. So I've just kind of started to rearrange them because I've gotten rid of some of the MAC blushes that I have. Um, this is gonna bug me. So I feel like I probably should declutter two more blushes so that this d isn't empty because I don't really wanna buy two more blushes. So. I'm not quite sure what I wanna do here. Um, I think I probably will declutter two more. I'm just not sure which ones. These other MAC palettes, I have products that I've depotted. I'm going to get rid of everything in this palette because I, I just don't reach for them anymore. So these were from my NARS Dan Marie palette. I just find that these two, which is Super Orgasm, Orgasm are a bit dry. Um, this is NARS Sin, which I used to have in a full size pan, but this one does not apply like the full size anymore. More. And this is a really bright pink that I just don't wear. Um, I really love this blush from Dior, which was um, discontinued, but it's the uh, Pink in Love. And it's a really beautiful, like, corally peach color. I got a lot of wear out of it, um, but the pan is starting to break up, so I'm just gonna say goodbye to that one. And then this was the uh, Dior Awakening blush, um, which I also really liked. And as you can see, I used quite a bit of it, um, but I just don't wear it anymore, so I'm gonna say goodbye to this one too. These two were from from the NARS Damery palette also, but I do actually enjoy them. This one's a contour, this is a shimmery highlight. This is a Dior Amber Diamond, which I love. And then I just stuck the Benefit Dallas in here because this used to be where I housed all of the box powders that I depotted, but I only have one now. <laughs> Okay, I've decided to declutter these two. We have MAC in Pincho Peach and MAC in Melba. Hopefully I don't regret this one. Um, but I just find that on the cheeks, Melba and Peaches look really similar and I think I might prefer Peaches a little bit more. That said, now I have this empty MAC palette. Um, so I might just back to MAC this one. So here's an overview of the blushes that I'm keeping, which has this overflowing stack versus the ones I am saying goodbye to. 
So that is my blush collection and declutter for 2018. So I started off with about 51 blushes, including all of the blushes that I had depanned and that were just like floating around in these MAC palettes. So after the declutter, I'm keeping about 29 and I'm saying goodbye to 23. I think that is a really great improvement. I do not know if I can go any lower than 25. So 29 is like a really comfortable um, blush collection for me. So like I said, I'm saying goodbye to 23 blushes, so that's about 45% of my original collection this time around, which I think is a success. So that's it for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed watching episode two, the blushes, which is my favorite product. You guys have to let me know what your favorite blush is. And I will see you guys hopefully tomorrow for the next episode, episode three, which is gonna be about highlighters and bronzers. If you wanna check out more decluttering videos, especially blushes, you can check out some links that I left here for you. And I guess I'll see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.